<laughs> Hi everybody, Angela Roman for Congress here. I'm down here on this beautiful day with the Marble Nut House behind us and I have ran into Sabrina here who actually owns Vaporite and Kaiser and the media has been here already this morning but I wanted to give her an opportunity to be able to get the message out, put the real education out there because you and I both know that the MSM is not going to relay that message and I am all about the people, we the people, for the people so I want to hear, I want y'all to hear it from the actual people that this is their this is their vitality this is how they raise their families they not only are raising their families this way but they are actually improving health care they are getting people to get off the real dangerous predator which is cigarettes so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce y'all to Sabrina of Vaporite in Kaiser Oregon hi everybody coming up right now and this flavor ban will kill my shop I will be out of business um, they were banning us because they think that uh, that flavors were targeting children for flavors and also because of all the deaths they're saying vape when actuality it's THC illicit cartridges <laughs> Woo! sorry y'all you'll probably hear that quite a few times <laughs> so anyway they're 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 banning our flavors today more than likely and if they do it puts many of us out of business and, and i've saved thousands of people doing what i do from combustible cigarettes and my family i've raised my family and everything doing this and i just it, it's sad they're killing people and they don't care amen to that and you know i would like to just get this message out to kate brown you know, this is a catch-22, girlfriend. You are waking up the masses to your tyrannical ways that me and many people have been loud and vocal about, from the timber unity to the medical mothers of freedom to the Second Amendment people. We are Americans. You are chosen to represent us, and you're not doing that. So best believe we've got some recall Kate Brown people down here, and all you have done is just approved more signatures to remove you out of office okay it's really sad that as a woman it frustrates me that you are such a pandering politician this is not how Oregon was founded this is not the Oregon that I was born and raised in and this is not the Oregon that we are going to continue to let you tear down we are here to save her and remove you so your time is up this woman here and all these people here are not doing anything wrong. They are not killing our economy. They are not killing people. They are not putting citizens in danger with their crazy policies like you do. They are actually improving people's health. They are improving people that are getting attacked by cigarettes, which you never ban cigarettes. All you do is continue to tax them for revenue. And that speaks volumes. We're on to you. You don't care about us. You don't care about our health. All you care about is bringing in more money. Well, guess what? You should probably go find another job. Okay? God bless you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. I'm trying. We got your six, girl. You want to say something? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to stand here and hold some pines and signs and help the people out. God bless. Don't listen to the media. Don't listen to the hype. It is not vaping that's killing people. It's the under-regulated nonsense and the black market nonsense that's doing it. And, you know, we have the OLCC, and they have full authority to go into these marijuana shops. Okay, I know. I actually worked as a bud tender, and I still have my five-year license to work in the marijuana industry. They have all authority to go in there and figure out where these deadly cartridges came from. If they really care about saving people's lives, then they need to do their job and what we the people are already paying these special committee people and these little groups of, I don't even remember what they call them, but we're paying people to go in there and make sure that things are done the right way. They know where it's coming from. They were silent for three weeks. They didn't let people know that it had to do with THC. They were blaming it on the good people and their work that they're doing. You need to get in there and find out what is really killing people and get it off of the shelves now.
I want to know why 1,400 people, or 1,400 people die every single day in this country from tobacco-related diseases. And it's not front page news, but when something goes wrong with one of these, it's front page news. Why? Absolutely. Well, that's because Kate's not getting any revenue off of that right now. Well, you, you know, know it's the media the and the fear factor and the hype. This is what they do. This is how they use scare tactics. It's just like with the city of Salem water when we had that scare. Well, I personally know that they are, they've had some far leftists coming in that want to put in all these little regulator things and turbines under the water to regulate temperature for fish and stuff that's costing a ton of money. This is what they do, you guys. And I want more people to continue to wake up. The, the MSM and our current leadership live off of fear tactics to make y'all feel that it's okay to take more of your money because they want to make you feel like you're and doing rights. something good. They and your rights. And your absolutely, rights. absolutely. Can I get this sign on there? I love it. It's going to be backwards, so y'all could just take a screenshot and look at it later. But it says, Kate won't ban cigarettes because she's kissing big tobaccos. Beep. Vaping saves lives, flavor saves lives. Remember that. God bless you all.